Hey guys, it's Hack Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to play games from your XMB on your PS3. Um, but aside from that, I'm going to talk about why I haven't made a video in a while. So, a few months ago, first problem happened, and I wasn't able to record uh, audio on my laptop. So then, tried to fix that, had to like take, take apart my laptop, fix the USB ports and stuff. After that, my computer just didn't work at all. And so, uh, I mean, this this spanned a couple, this like probably a month, a couple weeks to a month, and then eventually my computer was fixed. And um, right when right as I fixed my computer, my PS3 got the yellow light of death. So basically, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. So I tried to make a video many times, but nothing worked. Then eventually, I fixed my laptop and my uh, my PS3's yellow light of death, so everything was working. Tried to make video, but it turns out my laptop's absolute, absolute garbage, and wasn't fast enough or powerful enough to make a video. So it kind of froze every time I pressed the record button. So I had to get a new computer, which is great. So I'm making this video on my new computer. It's actually a desktop and works a lot better. So anyway, let's just get to it. So again, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to uh, play games from your XMB. You're going to start out by uh, downloading two files. First, Cobra CFW Tools 2.0 and uh, a Flash Files uh, folder. So it'll look like, like this when you download them. I'm just going to drag them over here. So you could go, you could go ahead and uh, just extract this. Um, and uh, yeah, I see. Here. Okay. So delete that. Here's a folder. And then you have a couple of things in here. All right, so that's good. Uh, open up your hard drive or USB or whatever. I'm using a hard drive. Um, and drag Cobra, C Cobra CFW Tools 2.0 in here. So yeah, it's 42 megabytes, so it's not that small for a package file. Um, all right, so now I can just safely eject it. All right, well, something abruptly ended my recording there, but what I was going to say is that I'm going to meet you at my PS3 because we're going to go ahead and, st and install that package file. Okay, so now that you're at your PS3, <coughs> um, just go to install package file. So I'm not on a rebug like I usually am, but um, I'm actually on what's called Cobra. So go to install package files and uh, install Cobra, bleh, install Cobra, save W Tools 2.0. So again, this is 43 megabytes, so it'll take a little bit longer than usual. So I'll just give it a little bit of time. All right, so now that's installed. You can just go ahead into it. And I forgot to mention, you do need Rebug Toolbox for this, so that you could use FTP, um, or if you don't have the ability to uh, to use FileZilla and stuff on your computer, um, then you could just get Multiman and do this manually. But uh, I'm just going to be using FTP for this. So yeah, just go into Cobra Tools. Click OK, OK again, and yes. And then scroll down to where it says Webman My Games. Click on that. You want, you want to make sure you click the first option with Install Package Files. I don't know what these other ones do. Um, I'm not in Rebook, so I don't know. But I just do with Install Package Files, just to be sure. So then click Yes. Then Yes again, and click Yes, because you want a hard reboot and let your PS3 reboot. Alright, so now go back into uh, your uh, PS3's account and now we're going to go into Rebug Toolbox, which I'll actually put that in the description as well. Uh, yeah, and you do not need to be on Rebug uh, firmware to actually use it. So I'll click OK. So now just take note of your system information. Um, take like Look at your uh, IP address. And now go back to your computer well, uh, while Rebug Toolbox is open. Alright, so once you're at your computer, you can go ahead and open up FileZilla. I actually use a portable version because it actually works for me. So go, go take a look at your uh, PS3's IP as I, uh, as I took note. So mine's 192.168.2.6. So just type that into host. And just click Quick Connect. There, it should be in your PS3 now. Um, and now you should see dev underscore rebug go into that. And go to VSH, resource, 
Explorer, XMB, and you'll see these um, XML files. Uh, so just, I don't know, I minimize that. So now, uh, if you remember that folder that you downloaded, which is right here, flash files, just open that up. You'll see these two files. So all I got to do, just drag them in there. And click overwrite for both of them. Now, just go ahead and uh, turn off your PS3 and turn it back on. Um, all you have to do is literally just go back into Rebug Toolbox and um, let's see, restart system and click uh, full on off cycle. So, I'll meet you at my PS3 and show you what to do next. Now that you're back at your PS3, you should see that you have uh, this My Games, My Games uh, folder right here. And you should also see App Home PS3 underscore game. So the whole uh, FileZilla thing we just did, that actually enabled us to have this. So, but we, so we, we, all, we obviously need both of them. So with your hard drive plugged into your PS3, preferably the right hand slot, just click on My Games. I want to go into PlayStation 3 right here. And you should see all these games. Um, which, which I don't have a lot of games. Um, but then you could just simply uh, open one up. So I'm not going to be able to really play much because my PS3, you know, it had the yellow light of death and it's like it overheats really easily just by playing a game. And if I go ahead and check uh, the temperature of my PS3, if you give me a second, temperature of my PS3 is 82. Um, so that's extremely high. Uh, that's like nearly uh, yellow light of death. Um, level. So I'll see what I could do. Probably won't do this for a long time, but I'll just go into NHL 13. I should go into this white screen and then automatically say, do you want to close this browser? So say yes. <clears throat> Head back and go into App Home. Hover over it and you should see that it says NHL 13 or whatever game you're going to try and do. And just click on it. It should open. Yep, so you can see that's NHL 13 right there. Um, so clearly it works. We did this all without using uh, Multiman or anything. Uh, solely from our USB. I mean, not our USB, our XMB. So, you know, see it works and everything. I'll just exit out of it because my fan's starting to go a bit crazy. Um, I'll show you that it works with other games as well. Um, just to assure you that this is all good and legit. So I'll just go back, oh also, well if I have a disc plug in my PS3 so I could literally just run it from my disc and not app home. But I'll just go back into my games, PlayStation 3, let's say I want to load up hmm, Black Ops 2. It'll do the same thing, I'll just close the browser. And see it says Black Ops 2 now. So, again, I, I don't really feel like doing this because my fan will just go crazy and my PS3 will just get hot again. I don't want to risk getting another royal light of death because it's kind of hard to fix. Um, anyway, I, th I hope this was helpful. Um, I th thank you for watching. Um, I will be making a lot more videos than I have been for the past few months because I've literally made none. Uh, and I apologize for that, but I will make more. And if you have any suggestions on what videos you want to see, please just let me know and I will get to it. So, again, thanks for watching. Um, see you later.